All right, hello. Uh, this is gonna be a very short video, and what I'm gonna show here is how to open a project, your whole project, you know, which may be a collection of HTML, CSS, and JS files, uh, with a live server. So this live server, basically, it, through the live server, you'll be able to see how your code changes just by refreshing the, you know, just making changes on your code and hitting refresh on your on your live server site, right? So uh, what you will need will be basically two things before, before getting into like all this detail, right? So you'll need to have Node or Node.js installed and also NPM, right? So these are, these are like kind of like pre-requirements for you, uh, prereqs, right? Um, so if you're not aware of what those are, you know, you can always like just Google and just find um, find Node.js and install Node.js, right? As well as, um, as well as install NPM. Uh, nonetheless, I'm just gonna, I have installed them already, so I'm not gonna go through that. Uh, you may have all them already, so you can always check by just typing Node and the version, Node-P and NPM-P. The installation is different depending on your operating system, of course. So this is why I'm not going to go into that detail and also because it's going to be a very short video. So after you've installed these, um, the installation for uh, the live server is very easy. So I actually may have it. And I'll be placing these uh, links on the, on the video, under the video description. So live server. Live server NPM. All right, so what you're gonna have to do is, there's a lot of detail here, but if you have a, an Ubuntu operating system, the installation is relatively fast and easy. So you just need to go, I think it may also apply to Mac, Macintosh, maybe Windows with a, an emulator, maybe, maybe by itself, I haven't used Windows in a while. So you just need to copy paste this line. Just need to um, basically type npm install dash g and live server All right so after you've done that you enter and of course you know if you just do this uh it's probably going to give you errors right because you are not running it as an administrator so make sure to be to to run it as the administrator and then you know install it that way so for ubuntu it's super user do i think for windows or mac maybe you need there's another way to like set up um, installation with administrative privileges, right? So it's just sudo before, before npm install dash g live server. So after you've done that, it should be installed. And now how do, how do we use it, right? So it's very easy actually. Let's say you have a project. Oh shit, what are doing? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, so let's say I have this project, right? So my project, it's, uh, let me just close this. Uh, my project is composed of these files. I've just been actually learning, starting to learn some, uh, what do you call it? Some 3JS, which is a very cool um, module, I think for JavaScript from rendering three dimensional objects. But, so I'll just use this as an example, I guess. So, so let's say that your project is composed of these files. You have a HTML, JS, and CSS file. And I'm just gonna go to the, what you need to do is just need to go to the directory where that, where your project is housed. So for my case, it's gonna be this directory, you see there. And so now I should be there. I should be basically in that folder, right? So once, once you're inside this folder, um, if you want to run the live server, it's as easy as just typing, after you've installed, of course, live server, right? Uh, you just need to type live, Dash server, and then enter, and then it will basically give you the rendering. Sorry. Uh, as I mentioned, you need to refresh, right? So, just need to check the, yeah, reload. Okay. So, let's say you want to make a change after you have set up your live server here. Uh, let's say you want to make a change in your code. So, I'm going to do that right now. So, let's say I want to turn it into a Turn it into a sphere. 
and I guess like just also make a change on the HTML file. So you, you can see it updated uh, automatically. So that was pretty cool. So you can also type something else in the HTML file, like my name. Oh, crap. my name, right? So Andrew. Yeah. And you can type anything else. So, so this is basically just been like a very, very short tutorial or very short uh, walkthrough of how to do the live server. There are some people that like me that I don't don't want to use, so be associated with too many uh, softwares that are software from Microsoft. Like so, I know that you can run it through, you can run live servers through Visual Studio, but um, as as an Ubuntu or Linux user, I don't want to go through that path, right? So, so this is a very cool workaround uh, for for that. So. Anyways, so this is basically it. Uh, please click like if you like my video and subscribe if you would be interested in watching more, being subscribed to more interesting material potentially in the future. Okay, thanks.